My name is Jeannie and this is my husband Vince. We recently purchased our first Palomino truck camper and are taking it on its very first long road trip from Colorado to Arizona. In our last episode, you saw us wake up at a campground in Page, Arizona. We enjoyed an Antelope Canyon tour, drove the honeymoon trail in Lee's Ferry, found some awesome dispersed camping next to the Grand Canyon. So we're uh, camping with cows tonight. Our truck camper made it to its second national park as we drove the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We ran a bunch of errands in Flagstaff such as filling our propane and took our first showers at a truck stop. Then we made our way to Sedona and saw that all the dispersed camping has been shut down and made into group camps. I'm also sharing our complete daily expenses of how much it costs us to live and travel out of our truck camper. We had a very, very slow morning this morning here in Sedona. Usually we get up, kind of get our stuff done right away and head out, but today, you know what? We're gonna take it easy this morning and just enjoy the day. There was two different hikes I was going back and forth on doing today, but we're not doing either of them. We're doing one that I've never heard of and I just found it on all trails. <laughs> we're just going because last time we were here in Sedona, we wanted to do cathedral the cathedral rock hike it was so packed with people we couldn't even find parking so we couldn't do it and now I learned there's a shuttle system in place and you know we're just not in that mood to deal with masses of people someday we might so today we're going on a scenic drive and then doing a hike off the scenic drive which actually isn't too far from us so anyways everything is good the camper is working nothing has broke the truck is running great nothing has broke so hopefully that continues <laughs> So we're on our scenic drive this morning. So the loop is called Red Rocks Loop Drive. And I don't really know how long the loop drive is here in Sedona, um, but it's gonna be beautiful. So we are doing the Scorpion to Pyramid hike, which is, here's the upper red rock loop drive this whole thing goes around um, and then the hike we're doing is this loop right here um, so I think it's like 2.2 miles so not super long but just a nice morning hike so as we're here in Sedona it is the day before Thanksgiving so tomorrow is Thanksgiving <laughs> and I think it is like 40 degrees right now it's like 9 in the morning as we're starting this hike but it's so warm. It's like the Colorado sun. It's so warm. And look at all the prickly pears, you guys. <gasps> oh, I am a cactus lover. So when you come to Arizona, I just get so happy. There's so many cactus. Well, there's our Cathedral Rock views. So that's this right here. We're looking at Cathedral Rock from a distance. <laughs> this is a really good hike, but I highly recommend you have all trails um, because we've been getting kind of off our trail here a few times and not knowing where to go. So literally having that map has saved us a few times. This hike has been 
we're like halfway done and it's like a little hidden gem or something like the views from this are out of this world this is gorgeous and we're not with any masses of people at the popular hikes but wow so we're at the halfway point and check out these views oh my gosh you guys seriously a gorgeous trail so we started the hike at 9 15 and it is 10 40 so our 20 minutes about to do that 2.2 miles so highly recommend if you look for a nice little morning hike scorpion to pyramid loop <laughs> We just got done on the little loop drive and yeah it was nice it kind of just goes through a bunch of residential areas um, but you do get really pretty views of like cathedral rock and um, the rocks around Sedona and whatnot so um, yeah it was worth it plus that beautiful hike was on it so it was good it was good um, but now we're heading out we're saying adios Sedona <laughs> we're onward um, so we're actually making our way down towards Phoenix so we are doing a quick stop at the Monte Zuma Castle National Monument. We have our park pass. It's a national park, so should be good. Yes, ten dollars a person. Otherwise, well, there it is, you guys. The Montezuma Castle. Well, this was a fun little stop. Um, yeah, it's basically the castle in that little area. Very, very tiny little loop here. I'm glad we had the park pass so we were able to get in for free. I will say some of the best cliff towings we've ever seen were at Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. Um, I find cliff towings very fascinating, but if you want to see a lot of them, definitely head to Mesa Verde. So we're at a Love's gas station. I think we're kind of by like Prescott, Arizona. I don't really know where we are, um, but we're off the interstate. And we just paid $3.95 a gallon and put in $56. We have about an hour and a half drive now. Um, so we are staying by, how do you say it? P Apache? Apache. Apache Junction? So. Okay. It's like the helicopter. Yeah, Apache, Apache, <laughs> you know, that area. <laughs> it's like east of Phoenix, kind of. So I actually ended up booking a state park for tonight and I pre-booked the, the state park um, many, many, many months ago um, only because um, when I was looking at like forest land, BLM land to stay in um, some of these areas, there wasn't much and or I kind of was reading reviews online about it not being the safest either and we just don't want to have to deal with that. Um, all the boondocking we have done on this trip so far, we have felt 100% safe and comfortable. Like, I mean, right? We haven't, I haven't felt any discomfort anywhere of oh, where we've, fun. yeah, everything has been great. Weirdos. Yeah, no weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to stay at a state park here and see what we think. Um, again, this will be like a first state park camping experience. So it'll be interesting to see how tonight goes. But we're on the way to Lost Dutchman State Park right now. You guys, look at that temperature right there. 71 degrees. Look, saguaros. We finally are seeing them. The first time we saw saguaro cactus was, um, well, in 2020. That was our first time out this way. Um, but I kind of fell in love with saguaro cactus when we went to Tucson. Fell in love with Tucson. We were actually just in Tucson in March because we just love that area because it's in the Sonoran Desert. It's so beautiful. Um, but yeah, we're just like north of Phoenix. And now they're all over the mountain right there. They're everywhere! They're the coolest! They're like my love. <laughs> I just love swirls. Yay, I'm so excited to finally see swirls. We should be camping with swirls tonight too. Um, I'm pretty sure the state park we're staying at is like swirls. Yay! We made it to Lost Dutchman State Park. We got to our campsite, you guys, 121, with the Superstition Mountains as our backdrop. And we have a swallow! <laughs> 
Nice. Look at that. This is beautiful. Okay, seriously you guys, this is awesome. So we're in a dry campsite, so I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how spread out. Not bad at all, you guys. Like we have this swirl and this like tree here that really separates us from these two over here. And then I'll show you across what we got going on. So we have one just like right across from us. But, yeah, these two aren't in yet. There's a site right over there. But you guys, seriously, I think we got a good site because, like, this is kind of the, you know, focal point. <laughs> There's no other campers here, and we can't see anyone from back here from our site. So this was a good find. Because this is a dry campsite, um, it's obviously cheaper than if you get full hookups, but we don't need the full hookups. Um, so it was only $20 for this campsite. So one thing we're trying to figure out, because we're not really sure, is we paid for a campsite, which was $20, but I didn't know if we had to pay for like a state park pass too, because it's, it's a bundled into the camping site or not. There's nobody on duty at the office. They say, go to the camp post. Nobody's up there. <laughs> at the camp post um, area. So I have no idea what we have to do or if we have to do anything, maybe we're fine. So we'll see, maybe they'll come knocking if they don't see a tag on our truck camper or whatever, I'm not sure. I don't know what the proper thing is or what we have to do because there's nothing, it's not telling us anything, but I do know we did pay for the site well in advance, so I know we're good. <laughs> saguaros and these desert areas we get our little heartstrings pulled we were in tucson in march and we just we love the sonoran desert and now we're here and we're seeing the cacti in the desert we're like oh my god it's so beautiful but the hard part is we live in colorado we have the rocky mountains which is absolutely gorgeous and we live in high desert um, that's the front range of Colorado. So if we could just live in Colorado in the summer, live in Arizona in the Sonoran Desert in the winter, life would be, that'd be amazing. <laughs> what do you think, hon? I'm all right with that. Sign me up. <laughs> I know, but then it's like two. It's snow for this guy. <laughs> yeah, two houses or whatever. I don't even know. Yeah, but it's not life goals, you guys. Life also goals. Meals. Also meals. Yeah, that's true. The truck camper. Just like, what are we to do about the truck camper? Maybe. <laughs> the winters just go <laughs> south. <laughs> Possible burgers, which are made from France. Um, we've never had them before. We heard good things about them, um, so we wanted to just try them for the heck of it. No, we are not vegans, vegetarians, plant. We eat meat, all the things. <laughs> we just really wanted to try them, and we did have them at home once already, and they were really good. We actually really enjoyed them, so we brought them with on this trip. So there's our little burgers. It looks like burger. And it has such a good flavor. Alright guys, I wanted to give you a quick show of the shower in here. This is La Stutchman shower bathroom for women. There's nobody in here right now. So I just set up in my stall here really quick. But yeah, showers, nice. Nice big room. All set. Worst shower yet. Yeah. yeah. 
truck stop showers are better. Yep, truck stop <laughs> showers are better. <laughs> so, um, it was like a lukewarm. I couldn't get it super hot. Vince and uh, changed stalls because yeah, he was really cold the yeah. first one, and then I switched to the next one and it got better. <laughs> yeah, so he was in the men's, I was in the women's. So I was like, oh my god, is it just the women's? But no, no, come to find out, it was worse than the men's. <laughs> Yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't so, great. And then too, as we were going and coming back, walking to the shower, because we had a little bit of a walk to the shower, everyone's like having bonfires and some people had the bonfires out, so it was so strong of smoke and a haze from people having <laughs> fires and then people putting fires out. Cooking, food, so, smelling. And then yeah, people are cooking food and it was very interesting <laughs> for our first evening camping in a state park i guess our ideal world i think what we've decided is truck stop showers if they're nice of course like we had the other night oh and then disperse camping yeah that's yeah peace and quiet yeah peace and quiet <laughs> we have a guy next to us who's talking and like yelling really loud too so we're getting all the, all the things here <laughs> Well, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Today is Thanksgiving Day. So we kind of basically switched up our entire plans today. Um, our plan was to head down to Saguaro National Park. Um, we've been there twice, but we wanted to go check out the east side of the park. We haven't been at the east side yet. Um, however, that consisted of three hours of driving to like two and a half to get down there and then an hour and a half to get back to our state park that we have booked for tonight. And since we're here at Lost Dutchman and this area, there's swarrows and beautiful mountains and everything here. So we decided we're not going down there. We're going to hang out here today. We don't have to check out of our campsite until noon today. So we're actually going to go do a little hiking in the Superstition Mountains that are right behind our campsite. So we can hike right from our campsite, which is awesome. Um, and then from there, we're going to head out and I think we're going to go find a uh, boondock site. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere over by Roosevelt so yeah um, <clears throat> campsites are great when you're on the move and whatnot we know we'll be staying at campgrounds and stuff in the future it's just something we definitely don't prefer um, last night I think people were partying I'm so glad we had a noise machine for sleeping because if we didn't I don't think we would have been able to get to bed at a good time and we woke up this morning to everyone's generators going people talking loud that guy next to us so loud so loud at like seven in the morning this has been an experience and oh and i forgot to tell you guys right behind us he came over and started picking wood from our campsite like what what a weird what it was, it was very interesting <laughs> So we're getting all the feels <laughs> at this state park, but it's such a beautiful state park. I just, we don't like all the people and the noise and the smoke and all the things that took place. It was very interesting. Peace and quiet campsites, that's where it's at. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. We're going to be thankful for today. We have a lot to be thankful for. This trip has overall been going extremely well. A few hiccups in the beginning, but thus far, we have a lot to be thankful for and we're thankful to be spending our day in the Snorren Desert. So we didn't even finish our coffees. We had to get out of there. It was so loud with generators. Oh my god. Seriously. This was the most non-relaxing morning we've had yet. <laughs> um, that's okay. I'm still thankful. Look at that. Anyway, so we're on our hike already. Um, so we are doing the flat iron hike it's 5.5 miles round trip i don't know if we're gonna do the whole thing we're just gonna hike until we want to turn around um and go from there we hiked about 1.7 miles up into the mountains here. We are surrounded. And um, we're like, we're good. <laughs> so 
is a nice little hike. Good climb. We're headed out of Alastashman State Park. Um, but we're gonna fill up our tanks, empty to the tanks that we need to empty, and yeah. All right, so we're filling fresh water in the camper, and then we have this little blue water jug we use. So this is like our drinking water tank. Um, we can drink out of our fresh water, but we just have this tank as extra water. It's closed. <laughs> They're closed for Thanksgiving. Wow, that's interesting. Um, we've been in a lot of national parks and stuff over Thanksgiving and they've always been open, um, but this one is closed. So um, I guess that we're gonna just have our breakfast right here in the parking lot of the Tanto National Monument. And right across from here is Theodore Roosevelt Lake. So that's the view here. We just changed our plans again. <laughs> We were thinking about getting up here to the Roosevelt area and then boondocking because there's lots of forest land up here. However, it is extremely windy to the point of where we do not want to set up camp this early and then sit in nasty winds. Like there's like dust storms going on <laughs> and I hate wind. So we're like, well, I guess today would be a good day to put a lot of miles behind the windshield. I think after we leave here, we have about four and a half hours of driving ahead of us, which we are totally game for today. So that's the plan. We are headed on a long drive this afternoon to get to Canyon de Chelly National Monument, which has a first come first serve campground. Um, so reservations aren't required. So hopefully when we roll up late tonight, there'll be a spot available up for us because we want to see that National Monument. So we figured, well, let's get there, then we can see it tomorrow. Arizona. We just gassed up at $3.21 a gallon and put in exactly $70. We have about an hour 45 until we get to a Kenyan Day Chelly. We are here, hallelujah. It is 5.08. We made it. There it is, you guys. $20 for a campsite. So we are the only ones here. <laughs> Nobody else is here. So we took campsite five right here. This is home for the night, all by our lonely selves. <laughs> That's okay. It will be very nice and quiet here. That's for sure. <laughs> all right, so Vince and I just realized that we've <laughs> stayed here in Chinle before. Our very first trip out here to Arizona in 2020, we ended up staying in Chinle um, on our way to Cortez, Colorado because we were going to Mesa Verde. And it was completely shut down. Only the hotel that we stayed at, I think it was like a Best Western, um, was the only thing open in town. 
So when we were driving through, I'm like, why does this look so familiar? <laughs> and then I realized we stayed here in Chinle um, in 2020. So here we are again, staying here again, but this time um, in a camper. <laughs> and we're gonna have dinner this time. Yeah, and we're having dinner. We yeah. didn't get dinner last time. That was the other thing. We got off our flight, we went to Petrified Forest National Park, and then we drove here to Chinle. And it there was, it it's was dark. dark no restaurants open we didn't eat all day it was we had like a nut bar at the yeah hotel or we something. had like our plain food <laughs> for dinner because everything was shut down because of covid Ugh. um so tonight we actually get dinner in our camper <laughs> so this is our thanksgiving feast <laughs> it's a bit weird. yeah so we got i'm doing a sandwich and soup and vince have lasagna and salad the same things we've been eating during this whole truck camping trip. vince is making a thanksgiving feast when we get home so so we just finished up getting our showers done in our camper tonight because the campsites here there's no amenities here there's no electric showers power like or i said power i said electric <laughs> i meant water um so yeah we had to shower in our shower tonight but you guys i forgot to fill you in yesterday because i've been recapping daily how much we've been spending on this trip um by not buying hotels and not eating out and just doing this entire trip in our truck camper with our prep food and all the things. So yesterday was a really good day. So yesterday we only had one gas fill up and then we had the site at Lost Dutchman State Park which came to $84.23. So we were under $100 yesterday which was awesome. Um, and then today's a little different though. We had two gas fill ups we had this site, and then we, like I said earlier today, we actually had a state park site booked down by Tucson, but we decided it wasn't really worth us driving three hours um, just to see Saguaro's when we were in Lost Dutchman. It was, you know, very similar. So um, it would have costed us more in gas if we would have did all that. So um, I think we paid $32 for that site. So we kind of have to bundle that in to this day since we did pay for it. Um, and then this site here at Chelly. Um, so today we spent a total of $187.55. So that's a recap. I can't wait to tally all this up um, at the end of our trip to see exactly how much we spent on everything. This has been so interesting and very fascinating seeing this. We're exploring Canyon Day Chile National Monument and starting our long drive back home to Colorado. And this is where I'll be showing our complete recap of expenses from this trip and compared to what we think we would have spent without the truck camper and without dining out. This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. 